You have my word. If the Counselor is in Leowin or the surrounding countryside, the Ivory Brigade will find her. You there! A moment of your time, please. Not now, citizen. Can't you see I have my hands full at the moment? I'm sure a guard or one of my brigadines can assist you. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Leowin's problems are legion, and now the Wood Elf Archer's predictions seem to be coming true. Damn these old Imperial secrets. Counselor Jirik has disappeared, and the Ivory Brigade is already spread too thin for my liking. The Wood Elf, Everly Sharp Arrow. She brought news that the Dark Brotherhood was targeting members of the Elder Council. All because of some secret of the Longhouse Emperors. We took her warning seriously, but Jirik refused Brigadine protection. With that Guild of Assassins, I'm not sure what to think. But Jirik is missing, and I don't have enough Brigadines at the ready to conduct the proper search. You look capable. So, care to earn some gold and help us determine the Counselor's fate? Here, let me update your map. These are places Jirik visits during her daily routine. If something befell her, it happened somewhere along this path. Meanwhile, I have Everly Sharp Arrow checking locations in the city. She was very eager to help. Counselor Jirik was a member of the Imperial Elder Council, back when we still had an empire. Now her title is mostly ceremonial, but she continues to assist the Legates by serving as an intermediary with the local nobility. Since the collapse of the Empire and the dissolution of the Elder Council, Leowin has become an independent city-state. Countess Caro sits on the throne, but the Chamber of Legates governs the city. I suppose the Countess is technically the highest authority in Leowin, but she leaves the administration of the city to the Chamber of Legates. Leviticus, another former Council Elder, leads this August body, along with Tabezako and Amhalu. Councillor Jirik is a creature of habit. Her daily routine is to stroll along the river and stop to read near a cave across the way. While Everly Sharp Arrow examines spots the Counselor frequents in the city, you should check these locations. Everly Sharp Arrow is an adventurer from Valenwood, though I get the sense she's relatively new at the job. She recently arrived with news of a threat against the former members of the Imperial Elder Council. I was skeptical at first, but now... She told us that the late Emperor Leovic Stewart was murdered by the Dark Brotherhood. Apparently, it pertains to some secret of the Longhouse Emperors, but those details she discussed with Counselor Leviticus. Evely found a number of documents pertaining to this secret. One of these contained a list of names. The Steward and some of the Counselors. She assumed that since the Steward had already been killed, the rest of the list might be next. On paper, Countess Caro rules Leowin, but in practice, the Chamber of Legates governs the city. Legates Tabezako and Amhalu, and Counselor Leviticus, they handle day-to-day -day tasks. Me? I'm Commander of the Ivory Brigade, Leowin's militia. Indeed. Since the fall of the Empire, the Ivory Brigade had to redouble its efforts to replace the Imperial Legions. We maintain active defenses in the north to keep the ongoing war at bay. But we have our hands full with refugees, bandits, and such. The Three Banners War. Let the Alliances fight over the Ruby Throne as long as they leave us in peace. I just wish I had more soldiers to spare for this new threat that Everly Sharp Arrow brought to our attention.
Pardon me, you're not the counselor. Apologies, I heard you stumbling about and thought it might be Counselor Jirik. Oh, no one important, I assure you. I'm simply one of the counselor's aides. I help her with paperwork mostly, run errands, that sort of thing. She initially refused the captain's offer, but she received a letter that made her... Uh, uneasy. Last I saw, she was headed back to the city by way of the Eastern Gate. But she never returned to her manor, so I came to look for her. Please, find her. Go over here. Someone, Rock Grove begs anyone for your aid. help me. I refused to believe, but Farrell, Leviticus, they were right. I was attacked. An assassin. You, you must warn the others. The counselors. Leofix secret. It, it will be the death. Of us all! <sighs> Councillor Jerick! Damn, we're too late! Damn it, I'm too late. Poor Councillor Jerick. She didn't deserve to die like that. At least I don't think she did. Did you see what happened? Who attacked her? The mark of the Dark Brotherhood. Just like with Faro Lupus. Uh, sorry. I'm working for Councillor Leviticus, the head of the Chamber of Legates. I came to Leowin to warn him after I stumbled across some secret concerning the Longhouse Emperors. It relates to something called the Four Ambitions of Mayrun's Dagon. I think they're Daedric weapons, but I'm still puzzling that out. 
I was working for Faro Lupus before he was murdered. Found a strange tome with Daedric markings at his behest. Yeah, that's what brought me here. I found a list of names. Faro Lupus and members of the Elder Council. It said they all knew something about this secret. Since Faral was murdered, I figured the others were in danger too. Looks like I was right. Let me have your map. I'll mark where Counselors Valeria and Sophus were last seen. Go warn them. Convince them to take precautions. Then meet me at Counselor Jirik's Manor in the city. Maybe we can find something to shed more light on this secret. I'll get the city guards to come and gather the Counselor's body. She shouldn't just be left out here. Then I'll head to Counselor Jirik's Manor. When you're done checking on Counselor Falaria and Counselor Sophus, meet me there. Like I said, it all started when I found that strange tome for Faral Lupus, an Emperor Leovic's journal. It was in code, but I got it translated. Sent me to a few hidden Imperial caches where I learned that the Longhouse Emperors had a secret. Right, but it turned out I wasn't the only one trying to learn more about the ambitions. A group of cracked acorns called the Order of the Waking Flame. Fanatic Mayroon's Dagon cultists. Had to put arrows in more than one of those bastards. I guess someone hired them to eliminate everyone who knows about the secret. The question is, who? And I was told by a more or less friendly Dramora named Lyrinth that the fate of our world was at stake. So of course I want to figure this all out. So Faral Lupus hired me to retrieve a book from a retreat once used by the Longhouse Emperors. He never told me what it was, and he died before I could ask. The book is... weird. It has weird pages and weird markings, and I can't read a word of it. Not much. Faral's partner said he planned to use it to make things right, but she didn't know how. And it's Daedric, I think. I will say, carrying it... It's kind of a burden. And I've been having strange dreams. But I don't want to talk about that. We weren't expecting visitors. Are you here to see the Counselor? Are you here to speak with Counselor Sophus? I'm afraid my husband has taken our dog for a walk. Is there something I could help you with, perhaps? Danger? What are you talking about? Does this have something to do with that letter? And who are you, by the way? Captain Rianne? I see. Well, if the Ivory Brigade sent you, my husband likes to walk our dog Chero along the tree line. Go on and find him. I'll wait here in case he returns. My husband, Valen, received a letter from an old friend this morning. Faral Lupus, Emperor Leovic's steward. I could see that whatever was in that letter upset him, but he didn't want to discuss it, and I didn't push him. Now please, go find him.
taking you so long. They should... Valen! No! acted strange after the letter from Farrell Lupus arrived. He didn't tell me what it said, and I never asked. Before he left today, he gave me a sealed scroll, said to give it to Counselor Leviticus if anything ever happened to him. A scroll, sealed and bearing my husband's stamp. Take it. Give it to Counselor Leviticus. I hope it helps catch whoever murdered my husband. I'll summon the town guard. They'll help me with... with my husband.
I have it on good authority that I'm in danger. Of course, Counselor. Step back and state your business. I have every reason to believe that my life is in danger. If you so much as make a threatening gesture, the Brigadine will dismember you. He has very strict orders on that regard. I was beginning to suspect as much. Very well. Tell me everything that you have learned. Leave nothing out. I want to hear it all. Lupus. Emperor Leovic's old steward? And Jirik as well? Gods. They are targeting the Elder Council. Anything else? Tell me. The slightest detail could mean the difference between life and death. The ambitions? I heard that term once before. Years ago. I must go to Tidewater Cave. I have a cache hidden there, and I need to check my records. Meanwhile, I suggest you find Jirik's files. She kept them in a hidden compartment in her nightstand. Possibly. I oversaw the Imperial Treasury, so my records deal with expenditures and collections. I have documents going as far back as Emperor Morikar. Possibly even Durkarat. And I know I saw that term someplace. I will see what I can find. Extremely well. We were rivals as well as colleagues on the Elder Council. It was that way between all of the counselors, I suppose. Her death is a tragedy, however. I will miss her. I'm glad you're here. I've been searching all over, but I could use your help. This place is huge. Why do rich people need so many rooms? Oh, but tell me, did you warn the counselors like I asked? Sophus is dead? Damn! Was it the Dark Brotherhood? What am I saying? Of course it was. I've torn this place apart, but so far I haven't found anything related to Imperial secrets or the ambitions. Maybe you can spot something I missed. I knew you'd be a help, but I didn't expect you to just have the answer the moment you walked in. Good job! Counselor Jirik's bedroom is upstairs. Let's see if we can find that hidden compartment. Hidden compartment? I love it! I mean, I hate that people have died, but... Um, so, what did you find? Let me see that. Hmm, that's a code, all right. Some of the other documents I found use something similar. You know, I'm really starting to hate all this secrecy surrounding the ambitions. Good idea. 
We need to report in to Councillor Leviticus anyway. Let him know what we uncovered. If he has a qualified scribe, great. If not, I know someone. They help me with those other documents. Let's go to Leowin Castle and talk to Leviticus. I can't help feeling that once we solve the secret of the Longhouse Emperors, we'll know how to stop the Dark Brotherhood from murdering any more of the Counselors. I'll see you at the castle. I need your report, mercenary. Word reached me that Councillor Jiric was murdered. What about Sophus and Falaria? And did you find definitive proof that the Dark Brotherhood is our culprit? That's the Black Hand, symbol of the Dark Brotherhood. I wish Jiric and Sophus had allowed me to assign brigadines to protect them. At least Falaria, however reluctantly, agreed to a military escort. Did you and Ev It appears that Councillor Leviticus's trust in the Wood Elf was not misplaced. Very well. You and Everly can head in and talk to the Councillor. Captain Rian and the Ivory Brigade will deal with the Dark Brotherhood. We are perfectly safe in here. Your damn empire, Leviticus. It no longer exists, but it still causes us trouble. You must be the mercenary that Captain Rian told me about. And I see you're working with Everly Sharp Arrow. Good. Good. I assume you have something to report. I'm listening. Damn it all to oblivion and back. I should have taken Faro Lupus more seriously when I received his letter. This is definitely the mark of the Dark Brotherhood. Anything else to add to this? Yes, that's the Longhouse Emperor's Code. Only a handful of Imperial scribes can decipher it. I know one. Baragon. I'll send for him at once. Meanwhile, we must warn the remaining counselors on the list. Abor, Valeria, Itinia, and Vandacia. Very good. I've sent messages to Itinia and Vandacia already, as neither of them are currently within Leowin's jurisdiction. I need you to go to Fort Blue Blood. Councillor Abor has taken refuge there, but I'd prefer to have her here in Leowin. Everything we do now must be swift if we are to get ahead of this. Go to Fort Blue Blood and convince Councillor Abor to return to the city. She'll be safer here than at the fort. Sadly, no. Whatever Leovic confided in Pharaoh Lupus and the others, whatever he ordered them to do, he kept it a complete secret from me. I suppose he assumed I wouldn't go along with anything illegal or Daedric, and he was right. I was, but the Elder Council was made up of almost two dozen counselors. According to the list Evely Sharp Arrow brought me, only seven counselors were privy to this secret. Make that six. I, I have no idea why Leovic listed me among that group. Who knows what was going through Leovic's head when he wrote that entry in his journal? Varon and his rebels were literally pounding at the doors of the palace at the time. And Leovic wasn't totally in his right mind even before the rebellion. The Longhouse Emperors were Reachmen who seized control of the Empire and ruled for some 40 years. Dukarach the Black Drake founded the ruling house. Morikar ascended to the throne after his father's death, and his son Leovic followed him. Leovic made a mistake. When he decided to declare Daedra worship as the law of the land, 
Duke Varen Aquilario subjected. He led a rebellion and personally dispatched Leovic in the Imperial Throne Room. Thus ended the Longhouse Emperor's reign. Uh, unfortunately, no. Varen disappeared a few years later and the Empire collapsed. Now the so-called alliances are fighting over the scraps and Tamriel is in shambles. We're doing all we can just to keep Blackwood safe and secure. Abor has always had an affinity for the Imperial military. When she received her letter of warning from Pharaoh Lupus, she sent word to me, told me she was going to the fort, that the soldiers would protect her. I fear she's only a token force of Brigadine's guards, Fort Blue Blood. If the Dark Brotherhood is truly our enemy, I fear a lone assassin can bypass the fort's defenses with relative ease. Abor would be better off here in the castle. Go and bring her back at once. Fort Blue Blood? That's to the east across the river. I'll meet you there.
it. Look, Councillor Leviticus and Captain Rianne sent me. I need to see Councillor Abor now. And what about my sister? She hasn't been seen since she took the Councillor her meal. Councillor Abor was very clear about this. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, another mercenary. Is our Ivory Brigade so enfeebled that Captain Rianne must resort to hiring sellswords? Look. As I told the Wood Elf, Councillor Abor was quite insistent. She doesn't want to be disturbed. All right, enough. I can see when I'm being overruled. Very well. I give you permission to enter the Watchtower. Councillor Abor's safety is now in your hands. Lurius? Oh, something about his sister. She's another servant here at the fort. Works in the kitchen, I believe. Apparently, she brought the Councillor her meal. He says she never returned, but the servants look for any opportunity to sneak off. The counselor demanded we protect her, said her life was in danger, but refused to give me any details. Imperial confidentiality, she insisted, above my station. I put her up in the watchtower and assigned a couple of brigadines to guard her. The Dark Brotherhood's calling card. Of course they tore out the pages and took them, just when we were so close to finding out more about the ambitions. Abor's meal is still warm. So what happened to the servant that delivered it? We have a door locked from the outside, a dead counselor, and a missing servant. Did the assassin take off with both the torn-out journal pages and the servant? Anyway, they not only murdered Abor, they probably know how to find the ambitions now. See that rope hanging from the top of the tower? Bet my bottom acorn that's how the assassin got in and out. But the missing servant... Something about that is knocking on the back of my head. And why would... Maybe. But everything I've read about the Dark Brotherhood never suggested they would be interested in weapons of war. If that's even what the ambitions are. Damn it. We're loosing arrows in the dark here. Let's tell Commander Orton about Abor. So, will Councillor Abor be returning with you to Leowin? Am I finally going to be able to get my fort back in order? Murdered? Gods, keep your voice down. Do you want to start a panic? Tell me what you found in the Watchtower. Let me see that. A black handprint. The sign of the Dark Brotherhood. But where is the servant, Talais? Is she involved in this fiasco? And how did she and the assassin get out of the watchtower? My brigadines never left their post. Well, that explains some of it, but not all. We need to locate Talais. Since you're already involved in working for Captain Rianne, I want you to quietly try to find Talais. Start by talking to the other servants in the kitchen and dining hall. Your sister is fine. This one is certain. Then where could she be? She would never neglect her duties. Probably found a dark corner and someone to snuggle with. This one does that all the time. Pleasant days, visitors. How can this one assist you? 
But, Alice, she worries her brother so. She asked me where we kept the hot root flakes. Counselor Ebor sprinkles them on every dish. I told her they are in the pantry, but you need the key from the kitchen to unlock the door. All right, grab a broom and start sweeping. What? No, that's Talese's job. And do you see Talese anywhere? No. Then start sweeping. Another new face in the fort? First Counselor Eivor, now you and that cute wood elf. Look, I'd love to chat, but Talese has wandered off and left me to handle her chores. She took the Counselor her meal and hasn't returned. Did you check the watchtower? Eivor's a little old, but maybe Talese decided to improve her station, if you catch my meaning. Eivor reeks of fear. Maybe Talese finds that attractive. Well, she's been acting like a frightened guar since she arrived. Stays locked up in the watchtower. Only lets a single servant in at a time. And I hear she's been burning papers. Documents of some kind. She's scared out of her wits, if you ask me. The servants come to the kitchen to mutter and gossip. This one will not have it. Misaba asks that you do not distract them overly long, as they are already naturally lazy. What is it that you need? That young woman. She has not returned from the watchtower, so her chores remain undone. And she took the pantry key with her when she went. It is no longer hanging on its hook. That is a clear violation of the kitchen rules. A clear violation. The pantry is in the cellar, but the door is around the side of the building. Thales mumbled something about how the counselor loves hot root flakes, grabbed the key and the tray of food and went off. This one hasn't seen her since. Before we check the pantry, let's talk. So, what did we learn? Counselor Abor was frightened, but that's understandable. Interesting that she was burning documents. Her journal indicated that she knew more than the others. And Talese visited the pantry before heading to the watchtower. Couldn't hurt. And every mystery novel I ever read taught me you should always follow up on every clue. Even the ones that seem insignificant. Let's check the pantry and see if she was looking for more than hot root flakes down there. Brotherhood murder. Oh no. We need to talk about this. All right. I think I figured it out. The assassin followed Talese down here, murdered her, and took her place so they could gain access to the watchtower. Pretty clever. But they didn't have to kill her. No. Not from what I've read, anyway. I thought they only killed those whose names appeared on their contracts. I can't imagine anyone asked them to kill a poor servant. Yes, but we still need to check on Councillor Falaria, and someone needs to go to Gideon and make sure that Councillor Vandacia is all right. Can I leave those tasks to you? I want to return to Leowin and consult with Councillor Leviticus. Oh, good point. Before you head out, report to Commander Orton. Tell him what happened to Talese, and how we think the assassin slipped into the watchtower undetected. His brigadines need to be able to recognize an imposter when they see one. After your report to the commander, make contact with Councillors Valeria and Vandacia. 
Valeria went to Tidewater Cave to get her records, and Vandacia works in the Gideon Courthouse. Cracked acorns! I suddenly had the weirdest feeling come over me. Yes. No, I don't know. We were talking about the counselors, Valeria and Vandacia. Suddenly I had a premonition. It was brief and disturbing and mildly unpleasant, like the dreams I've been having. But this is the first time while I was awake. Remember I told you about that strange book I found? The one with the Daedric writing that I can't read? I've been having bad dreams since I found it, and the dreams are becoming more frequent. This time it happened right while we were talking. It was just a flash, but it was accompanied by a feeling. I felt a sense of overwhelming evil, all tied up in the figure I saw in my mind. Like someone held a portrait in front of my face for just a moment and then pulled it away. It was one of the Waking Flame cultists, I think. Someone powerful, in command. A dark silhouette wrapped in a cloak. I'll never forget the feeling it invoked. It was like a wave of hopelessness. We can deal with this. All right. You talked to the fort's servants and rummaged around in our pantry. What's the verdict? Did you find the missing servant? That's... Oh, that's horrible. Are you sure? No. Of course you're sure. No one would lie about something like that. I'll tell her brother what happened and send someone to tend to her body. Gods, what a day this has been. <laughs>